Hi, this is Gary at Web Design. This is an introduction to our Rapid Weaver Foundation projects that uh, we're just about to release. So if you're using Rapid Weaver 6 with Stacks and also the Foundation Stack Suite from Joe Workman, then I think you might find these interesting. The projects are suitable for all sorts of different users. New users will benefit from having a ready-made set of demonstration websites. These are ready to go. You can change your text, change your title, logo, etc. And for many people, um, they're, they're ready to go. You have a professional looking website ready to go. Existing foundation users too, it'll take you to the next level, it'll take you there quickly. And also for professional web designers, there's, there's two things that's going to be of great benefit. One is just the speed. It's so much quicker to just cherry pick some of these ideas, some of these modules, and um, and use them instead of having to build them up. Uh, there's so many examples of this throughout the projects that um, in the later videos, I'm, I'm hoping you'll, you'll see that benefit. And the other thing is for rapid prototyping. You can very quickly put together a demonstration for a client or a potential client. So you can actually show them something that looks pretty good. Um, and that'll sometimes help them to uh, to tell you what they what they don't want. I'm sure you've met many customers or clients like that who, who find it difficult to express what they want. We'll show them something and they'll suddenly tell you what they don't want. So again, it cuts, it cuts down wasted time. So it's about speed and ultimately saving money. The projects are built up using a modular approach and they come complete with everything you need. So for example, the projects contain a number of demonstrations. There's also a starter demonstration for someone who's using foundation for the first time. And there's also an options demonstration. So it shows some optional stacks which are particularly useful or, for example, they might save time or help you to configure the system. There's folders of um, images and fonts included. So for example, there's a warehouse folder ready to load up to your server which holds images, icons, backgrounds, dividers, that kind of thing. All of the images are optimized and they're all sized suitable for foundation. There's also SVG images and PNGs where, where those are appropriate. The way that the modules are put together is they use a module approach. Now, this landing page here is a module. That whole thing is one module you would load onto a page. If you then wanted to go in and change this text, change the logo, change the picture, you'd make those changes. If we move down to the next page, this area in the white here, this is also a module. If we move down to the next one, here we have a a really pretty complex module that will take you a long time to create from from a scratch but this is all a module so you load this in you then go in and change this text you you remove these add these and this exists in many forms there's even a total CMS version of this where it's already set up and you go in and change anything in here Here's another module, again another module, you know, you get, you, get, you get the picture. But if you wanted to, for example, have a module like this, um, followed by a module with the iPhone on the right, um, you'd load that particular module, and the whole thing's modular. There's a navigation system here. Again, that's, that's one of the modules. And if we go down to the footer, this is one of the modules. So that's, I think this is footer one, but, you know, I, you, you get the idea. The modules have documentation inside them. They're pretty well documented. They will have a description, they'll have information about things you need to be wary of, what you need to be careful with, and if there's anything uh, unusual in there, uh, it'll be documented there. If there's any custom CSS to do some unusual styling, that will be in there. Uh, this is this is uh, demonstration number four, I think, but if I, if I come down here, um, to this one. This is another variation on one of these modules. So it's basically the same thing as what we saw before with an iPhone, but in this case, it's on an iPad. So the documentation within this module will detail how you create this, what you need to be careful with, 
making a graphic like this or choosing a graphic and how to size this and, and basically you know how, how to go about using your own graphic in there so so that's the kind of documentation that's in there and um, I think uh, I think users will find that that pretty useful um, there's a whole load of projects planned um, the first ones are coming out very soon middle of March and um, there's a whole lot of target markets, different applications, but they're all designed to be swapped. You can pull stuff out of one and, and put it into another one. Okay, so that's uh, the web design projects. There'll be a few more videos. If you would like advanced information of when it's going to be released and uh, any other promotions, go to our website, webdesign.com, and there's a newsletter there. So uh, sign up to that and we'll, we'll send out any information. Okay, thank you.